tubes i gotta change out this circuit board on an ice maker on a hush socket third floor now i didn't order the part the customer did they asked me if i'd put it in i said yes third floor at the motel look at that cinematic palm trees and sun there he is norcal let's get the ladder and tippins see if we can be get this thing figured out the issue was the water inlet solenoid was not energizing so Let's see what we come up with. There you are, Mr. Tippins. All right. I think we got through some jobs and we got the, the back of the van a little bit tidied up. Won't need the knee pros today. That'll be nice. Get some gloves and tippins in this board and see how we make out here here we are we're stacked first floor second floor and then third floor ice maker let's do it there it is out of orders let's unplug it and change this board it has an old alpine board that's yeah, already unplugged this is for the dispenser yep Check it out. There it is, an old Alpine, Alpine board. Let's see here. Pretty simple. 12 volt, and that's it. That's all your connectors, it was such a good design. All right, let's get it out of there. Board out, old Alpine board. And this is the replacement for it, 2A1410-02. Now, the backstory is, I was like, bro, sure you want to spend some money on a board? So he found this on eBay, bought it himself. And I'm like, that's cool. He said, machine is really old. This is like, if you want to throw money into it, knock yourself out. And I'll install it, but here we go. We'll see what happens. I don't even know 100% sure if this is the issue, so we will check it out. And these, I just depress them with the uh, needle nose to get, to get the board off. Works out pretty good. Okay, there it is all fitted in. We can adjust the dip switch settings. Um, I don't think that board was new. They bought it on eBay. I think it's used just from the dip switch settings are already set for like one and two on five and six, you know, for all the, the water issues. But uh, let's plug it in, switch is off, and then we'll turn it on and see if, if this thing will make some ice or not. All right, let's see what, if anything happens. Let's make sure the water's on. Water's on there. I think that's stripped out for sure. Let's try wash first. All right, got water pump. Let's go ice. Hey, we're filling. That's a win. We might be getting a win today. All right, we filled up. Floats made. We're in our harvest mode. So when the thermistor gets to 40 degrees, we should kick into freeze mode. Yep. How old this one is, what refrigerant it is. Look, we're right by the ocean, look. Corrosion. It's an old R22 unit. Old timer. Alright. 
there we go into the free cycle. All right, let's let's watch it make a batch and see how we do. See your kids switches right there. Let's go over those settings because you can change a bunch of settings. It's real simple. So the first two. Switch, dip switch one and two is your defrost timer adjustment. I call zero off, one on. If you want the longest defrost timer, to try and keep that evaporator cleared off, put one and two. I call it to on, I. You want one and two on, that's how I like to do it. Your pump out length, three, uh, dip switches three and four. I keep those at zeros, I keep those off. This one, you shift with three on, four off. So that's 10 seconds. Pump out frequency. If you got hard water, you want it to pump out every single time, put five and six to zero. If you want to try and save water, put them at one and one. Seven and eight are always off, and then your maximum freeze time. Default is zero, zero, works out good. 60, you can bump it up to seven. 70 minutes, you can put nine on, 10 off. That's how I call it. This one's actually shipped with uh, 50 minutes. So I might move pin nine to the zero setting. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, pin nine, I'm gonna move to the zero setting. All the way in the back back there. But... We'll see if this makes ice. Change these settings up too if your machine's using too much water and they're getting on you for water. You can change up some of these settings, especially the pump out frequency. You probably want to put five and six at one and one. Um, that might save you some water. They've been really hitting the water usage hard, and, and that's a, a problem with Hosokis is the water usage compared to like a Manitowoc. See how we make out. This machine's pretty clean. They got someone cleaning this thing. Pretty decent shape. Pretty, pretty decent looking. Sound of victory. <laughs>